In this house, we're serious about our coffee. So a good coffee maker is more a necessity than a luxury. I love my bun o -matic. It's got a water line plumbed right to it. It has two burners. It keeps a tank of water hot all the time so that a cup of coffee or a pot of coffee, instead of taking 10 minutes like a regular drip coffee maker or producing only one cup at a time like a Keurig type machine, you get a full pot in about a minute and a half. And uh, there's a brew switch which activates the whole cycle. You don't have to pour any water in it, obviously. Uh, and I thought... How cool would it be if you could activate it remotely so that by the time you get down the stairs in the morning, your coffee's made? And uh, so I thought, well, this brew switch is 120 volt. It closes the uh, relay, which activates the solenoid. And um, I thought, well, if you could put in a separate relay with a 24 volt coil and then a transformer, you could run a low voltage wire from here to the master bedroom. So that's exactly what I did. And back there, you can just see that little white wire going in next to the plug. And that white wire goes down into the basement, over underneath here, up this wall. All the way up. And it actually goes up into the attic, so up another floor and over and into the master bedroom, actually into that closet there and down and across to here. This is our coffee button. So I've just pressed it. And what that did was momentarily pulsed the... Uh, relay that I added with a 24 volt coil which latched in the main relay on the machine or the coffee maker and uh so now it's started its its pot of coffee and so by the time you roll out of bed and make a stop in the bathroom and you Walk slowly down the stairs because you're just getting up and you're not ready to move all that quickly yet. And you walk into the kitchen. Voila. Of course, we skipped the bathroom stop, but by the time you actually get down here in the morning, your coffee's made like magic.